Welcome to this session on nesting references. So we're now going to get these two core models attached to our floor models that were created in the last course. So I'm going to start by going over to my Explorer dialog. I'm going to expand the links tab to the building models, go to my design models. Let me just expand that a little bit. So we want to start by opening up this file, the A Flora Lobby DGN. So I'm just going to double click on it here. That's going to open it. So there's that lobby floor model, the exterior skin, essentially. And all we're going to do is basically reference the core in. And so I can do that again from my Explorer dialog, expand my design models, and find that A core lobby DGN that we've been working on. And then I'm going to drag and drop it into view one. So again, just left click, drag and drop. Our attachment method will be recommended. And we're going to select OK, and there's our core. Because we built it on the grid, it's exactly lined up, and that one's good to go. Now I will come up here and do a Save Settings. And so when we later reference this floor model to our Discipline Master model, it's going to nest that core with it. All right, now I'm going to find the, the A Floor Office 1 in my Explorer. Double click to open that up. So this is the Office 1 floor. Again, I'll expand my project tree. And this time I'm going to use the A Core Office. Drag and drop. Attachment method recommended. Select OK. And we have that core attached. Again, I'll do a Save Settings to save that. And then I'll go to the A Floor Office 2 floor. Expand the project tree. Now, as I had said, we're going to reuse that office core again because it because it's it's the same. No need to model it twice. So again, I'm just going to use that same file, a core office, and I'm going to drag and drop into here, recommended. And the only issue is that that core was built at the A floor office one level, and so we're going to need to move the reference up. All we need to do is select anything in that core, just pass my cursor over it, and then do a right to press. Again, I have a context sensitive menu there, and we're going to select the option to move reference. And basically we need to move it up 14 feet, and so we could either select a point you know, anywhere in space and simply move vertically 14 feet, right? So note our, our prompt is to enter a point to move from. Now I'm just going to select a point in space and then use my AccuDraw compass. So I'm going to rotate the compass to the front using the F key in, and then I'm going to move vertically 14 feet or 4,200 millimeters, and then a left click to accept that. And now my reference has been moved so that the core is in the correct position. And again, I'll do a save settings so that this floor is set up. So now we've got our three floors set up with cores in them, and we're ready to start laying out some office spaces. So in the next session, we'll place spaces for some office layouts. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.